good to be with you today. I hope you get a blessing out of God's Word. You'll remember that a uh, huge crowd had gathered, and so Jesus went from the west side of the Sea of Galilee over to the east side of the Sea of Galilee. And when he got to the east side, there was uh, a pair of demon-possessed men. And Luke focused on one of them. And remember, the demons were cast out of the guy and into the pigs. And the people of the town of Gadara wanted Jesus to leave because he was hurting their business. But the man who had the demons cast out wanted to go wherever Jesus went. And Jesus said, go back and tell the people of your city what great things God has done for you. Now he leaves and he goes back to the west side. And the town where he was headquartered was the, the town of Capernaum. So Jesus goes back to Capernaum and he's teaching. And there are some guys that are carrying a paralyzed man on a pallet. And Jesus sees that those men and that man had faith. Now, the Bible says that we are justified by our faith. Even before Jesus was crucified, people were justified by faith, and Jesus died for their sins. And then on the other side of the cross, we also are justified by the Jesus who died for us through our faith. And the Bible says Jesus saw faith, and he said, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now, there were Pharisees there. And the Pharisees said to themselves, he's blasphemed. He's, he's insulted God Almighty by forgiving sins. Think of it this way. Suppose court was being held, and I decided I would walk into the uh, courtroom, and I would say, everybody in here is pardoned. Go home. Well, the judge would hold me in contempt because he's the only one that has the right to say guilty or not guilty. And in the same way, there is one judge of the entire universe, the creator of everything. And Jesus said that the Father had committed all judgment to him. The Bible says through him, God made the world. And the Bible says that he is God in the flesh, and that he is the one who ultimately judges. And so he was really making quite a statement here. You know, it's one thing for me to say, I forgive you for what you've done against me, but I can't make the statement, all your sins are forgiven, and you'll not be held to account for your sins. Uh, you won't be condemned for your sins, because I don't have the right to do that. I'm not the judge. The only one who has the right to do that is the judge. And the judge was Jesus. And that was exactly what he was saying. So either he really was blaspheming, claiming to be the judge, or he was the judge. Then Jesus made the statement, knowing what they were thinking. Okay, which is it easier to say? Your sins are forgiven or take up your bed and walk? And he said to the man that was paralyzed, take up your bed and walk. And that's exactly what he did. So Christ was proving that he had the power to forgive sins by telling that man, take up your bed and walk. Now imagine here you are somebody that's paralyzed and you get healed. Um, don't you kind of wobble around and you finally learn to walk and you get a little bit stronger, a little bit stronger. This guy picked up his bed and took off. That's absolute, complete healing. Jesus was making the point by that miracle, I am who I said I am. Now, over in John chapter 2, the authorities ask him, by what authority are you driving people out of the temple and making all these claims? Uh, what sign do you give us to show that you are who you say you are? And Jesus said, when you put me to death, I'm going to rise in three days. And that's exactly what he did. So, like Josh McDowell said in one of his books, Jesus is either a liar or a lunatic or Lord. He's not just a good man. Because if he's just a good man, that doesn't make sense because he's a good man who claimed to be the Son of God. So either he's a nut or he's a charlatan or he really is Lord. And literally hundreds of people in the first century 
went to their death rather than deny that Jesus was Lord because of what they had experienced. So I'm going to leave that with you. He really does have the authority to forgive sins. And the scripture says, if the son forgives you, you're forgiven absolutely. Justified by faith, we have peace with God through Jesus Christ our Lord. God bless you. I'm done. Thank you.